welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is marina i do mobile home living i'm on a mission to make my mobile home a mobile mansion it's taking a lot of work it's taking a lot of time blood blood sweat and tears but we're getting there today i don't know if you can tell here my regulars know that i have been working on this daggone brick wall for i don't know how long also if i sound like a smurf it's because i'm really sick right now shane conked out on me so i was going to get him to help me He's taking a nap. I'm not going to wake him up. I'm just going to try to pressure. I'm just going to try to push through it. And um, hopefully I can get some stuff done. I've started this wall already. As you can see over here. This brick wall is already done. Um, I'm literally doing the um, joint compound and acrylic paint method. The tape, like the scotch tape joint compound and acrylic paint method. That up there, the grout needs to be painted in between the bricks and then down here you can see the tape where I taped it off a couple weeks ago and didn't touch it since um, I've got to retape all that so a bunch of you guys have been asking for a tutorial on how to do the brick like a step-by-step -step tutorial so I'll be doing that in this video it is not complicated and it don't have to be perfect that's the best part about it that is the only reason mine has turned out semi okay everybody's like oh I love your bricks they're gorgeous it's not hard <laughs> If it required you being perfect, then I mine would look like Dookie, because no. I can't follow instructions very well. I'm going to pull this fridge out, and I'm going to show you guys how to tape the brick, step by step, what to do to get your bricks to look like the way that mine look like right here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Like that. I also have them as the backsplash, and they're actually hiding my tile backsplash. If you look really closely... You can see that I have tile backsplash up until right there. You see that dip right there? I literally hid my tile backsplash. So I have it all across here. So I'm gonna finish up there. Gonna finish up here and get all this painted, the grout painted in and done. Once it's painted and everything's done, the joint compound's dry and everything, then I'm going to seal it. Seal it with some matte polycrylic. I'm going to decorate above the cabinets and above the refrigerator. First, before I get started, I'm going to get this whole area tidied up so I have a clean working space. So, I start off this video kind of feeling, you know, a little rough. But by the midpoint of this video, like, I'm pretty much back to normal just with the stuff you know. Like, you guys will see that I do an outfit change into a purple gown and a polka dot pajama combo. I'm pretty much back to normal by then. I just really wanted to go ahead and get this wall done because it's been bugging me. It's been unfinished for a while now. And while I do tend to start a bunch of projects and not finish them right away, it really does bug the tar out of me. So I wanted to be sure to get that done. I also wanted to show you guys as I redecorate this area, I did not go out and buy anything specifically for this area. I decorated it with things I already had. I shopped for my home. You guys can do that. You don't have to go out here and spend a fortune to redecorate your home. You can use things that you already have in your home and it'll change the whole area. Something that's in my living room, if I move it to my kitchen, it has the potential to change that whole area. The look of the item and everything. So just go into whatever you're doing knowing that you don't have to be filthy rich to do this stuff that I'm doing. I shop from my home. I shop bargain shopping. I save up for stuff. Y'all know I finally got my money to save up for my dishwasher so I'm going to get that soon. You don't have to be rich to make your house a home. First of all, it's the people inside the home that make the home. But if you want to make it look pretty, you ain't got to be rich for that either. I promise you. When you hold me so close, I want better in under your skin. Want to leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been. I used to be satisfied. You can see right there, that's what it looks like after you get the grout painted versus not painting the grout. You don't have to prime it before you start. You can start on any color surface. It's painting the grout that kind of brings it all together anyway. What he's doing is he's literally not even measuring it out. He's just putting bricks wherever he feels like putting them. Um, you just do a long strip this way and then stack them. I, I want. Now I 
The reason you don't have to worry about them being a particular size is because as you can see over here we're washing them out right you can't even really tell where the brick begins or where it ends on some of them so it's not necessarily to have them like if, if you have them completely planned out and like measured out then it can look kind of uniformed and for the farmhouse and the rustic look that we're going for you kind of don't want to do that you kind of want it to be messy it's going to look like a hot mess when you first get started but you can kind of see the brick layout already it'll turn in to this and then this will turn into that once you get the grout taken care of and the white washing of the bricks. This is the joint compound stuff that you need. Or any other brand of joint compound. And you're going to need what looks like a Spongebob spatula. This is how you're going to put that on there. You're going to go pretty heavy handed on it. And just slap it on there. Go this way, go vertical, go horizontal both ways and just slap it on there. Once you get an area, just a small area covered, you don't want to do the whole wall because you don't want the joint compound to start drying before you start patting on the acrylic paint. But you want the joint compound to be wet when you're putting on the acrylic paint. I'm using the Apple Barrel Territorial Beige acrylic paint and a paper towel. You want to just fold your paper towel up really good so it doesn't have any loose ends that will get hung in the joint compound. Then you're going to take your paint just put a little bit on there at first you can always add more but you don't want to put too much in it dry out and waste all that paint dab your paper towel in it you gonna do what dab okay dab dab <laughs>
Okay, I'm trying to get done with this before the sun goes down. I can feel for the past week I've been able to feel when the sun's about to go down because my body starts aching, the fever hits. I don't know what it is, y'all. It's, it's semi dry, so we're just gonna peel it off like this. You don't want it to dry all the way, but you don't want it to be um, like goopy while you're peeling it off. Okay, so I'm just taking some paint. And a angled brush. Now this one makes it easy to get into the grout lines. I do like the smaller ones with the wooden handles. Those were better. Those are the ones that I did over on the other side. But I did this side over here with one of these. It works just the same. It was actually a little bit bigger than this. It worked just the same. So you get a good amount on your brush and follow the grout lines. Now you don't have to be, like this doesn't have to be perfect because you want it to kind of go over the edges of a brick a little bit just to get it to like kind of blend in. So you're just going to roughly go over the grout lines like this. significant amount of area the grout done you're just going to drag your very dry brush <laughs> you sound like Paul Brown. across the bricks and in some areas you're going to go where the edges of the bricks are like this right here and you're going to whiten it a whole lot. And that gives it kind of that look that you've done that Dutch smear with compound over actual brick to give it that farmhouse look. That's what gives it that. So you're gonna go on the edges of some areas and you're gonna whiten it a lot just to give it that smeared look. Depends on how light you want them. I want mine to have a quite a bit of brown popping through, so I'm not gonna whitewash mine as much as somebody else who wants water brick. If you do want water brick, you might want to think, you might wanna think about not using the brown that I use and use gray. I've seen my friend Carrie and my friend Erica um, both use gray on theirs. Um, I wanted the darker, actual, like reddish brown look that bricks give, so I used the brown. 
told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. How are you doing? Oh no. What? Oh boo. Shane! Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hey, I'm doing it! I'm doing it, Grandpa! And he's gonna finish up this wall. And then we're going to uh, get, we're gonna get the shelf hung up. Can you see me? Barely. Hello. Hello, star shine. So Shane is using a black matte spray paint for the little hanger danger dingalinger thingies. Um, they were the ones that were in my bedroom originally. They were white. We're just spray painting on black and they turned out so good. I was so impressed. And I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the rain. Y'all, I'm thinking about switching out my lights. The, Here, like right up. now I got the hospital lights. What are you doing? Right now I got the hospital lights going on and it kind of just neutralizes, like gives it a cool tone effect. Because all the grays in my house, Wait, but y'all, <coughs> a cool tone. You said a cool but tone. I like, nah, I'm okay. used to having the warm lights, like the the warm. What's it called? Yeah, the soft soft white. Yeah, soft whites. So what do y'all think? If I would y'all hate it if I got soft white lights again? I kind of just really want to walk into my house and it not feel like I'm checking into the nursing home. These hands. Go catch these hands. Hey. Can y'all tell I'm feeling better? This matte spray paint turned out so good. It's got a little bit of shine to it, but not a whole lot. It's coming off as more shiny on there than it is in person. Get the screws and then need them. This might be bad, Marina. I ain't got long enough screws to go in the wall, to go in the wall, to go in the wall. You don't need big ones because they're not putting anything heavy. Yeah. They didn't have a complete Oh, y'all, let me show you the book I'm reading. This one. It's the third book in that alien twilight thing I got going on. But, Mama, I'm in love with an alien. He will take you. What? <laughs> didn't you know space? What the fuck? Space is tuberculosis free. <laughs> Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the alien's name be like Zipzor? I'm coming, Zipzor! I'm coming, Zipzor! Get first singing, I'm in love with an alien. Zipzor's going to get you some treatment. I need a ladder. You need a ladder? You know, aliens don't need ladders. They can just float on up to the ceiling. But I'm not an alien. I'm in love with an alien. But I'm not gonna make it to see him. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, you can't make me laugh like that. How can I help? Hold on, I'll get a sword. No, 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 no leave my sword alone. So now I already gotta worry about. Get that off there! I was holding it. No, it's not. Mama, I'm in love with an alien. I may have to get my masonry bit. Masonry? Yeah, getting these bricks. What?
really happy. This is Banks. <laughs> and this is his favorite toy. And when they collide, they make wiener slushy. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, why do you got your mask on? You're sick. Listen. Listen here, okay? You spreading that disease, hacking, and coughing, and sound, sounding like, like, like you got the, the zibzorb flu. Okay? I think you're a little bit offended I have a crush on Aileen. I am offended. I am offended. Because I still get flack for a, for a crush that I had years ago that I don't even have now. Who was it? Taylor Swift. You said her name. It's forbidden. <laughs> what jackbutt? You just call me a jackbutt? You're a fart knock. You're a dingleberry. Okay. We're going to pull out the really bad words, huh? Okay. You know what you are? I'll tell you exactly what you are. What? You're not going to get ready because you're going to have to edit this out. What? I'll tell you exactly what you are. What? You beautiful. Man, and here I was thinking of what's a good thing I can tell him back. I can call him a salmon patty. Salmon patty? <laughs> I'm gonna have to dip my finger and put some light on that break that you missed. Okay, so you got that one. Hey, I'm on vacation. So what we're gonna do now is, most of y'all know my pantry area is coming down. We're actually now is we're actually building a pantry. So all this is coming down. I'm gonna take this that Shane built me. We're gonna move uh, it. Yeah. What are we've you gonna got, make me do to it? We've got to shorten it. Yep. Yeah, and we're gonna it. move. So I've got to get some stain, I think I have some, and fix that little corner right there. But I think it looks cute there, and I can still open my spice cabinet. Oh Jesus, I gotta go on the the second step. Oh, Jesus, In the arms Jesus, of Jesus. the angels. Alright, so. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll fall and get abducted by Zibzob. You're really bitter about that, ain't you? I'm just saying.
Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the man? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fire in the tent. Y'all, this right here is what you can do with stuff you already have. I didn't buy anything for this makeover. I just pulled stuff I shopped from my house. So this is a perfect example of what you can do when you shop from your house. I hope you have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all next week, prayerfully back at it with my four to five videos a week. I love you. Have a good week.